This video is about photosynthesis, the Calvin cycle. It's the last part of topic 3.5 of AP Biology. What are the three phases of the Calvin cycle? Describe what happens during the carbon fixation phase of the Calvin cycle. Describe what happens during the last phase of the Calvin cycle. I'm Mr. W from learn-biology.com, where we believe that successful learning requires interaction and feedback, and we're so sure of that, that your subscription to learn-biology.com comes with a money-back guarantee. What are the three phases of the Calvin cycle? So let's remember the Calvin cycle takes the products of the light reactions and carbon dioxide and uses it to create sugars. So that occurs in three phases. And the first phase is called the carbon fixation phase. Carbon dioxide gas is brought essentially into the biosphere. That is followed by the energy investment and harvest phase where matter is actually pulled out and that matter becomes part of the plant and ultimately part of you and then finally there's the regeneration of the starting count compound this is a cyclical reaction this compound rubp ribulose bisphosphate is at the end and it's at the start now we'll go into each phase describe what happens during the carbon fixation phase of the calvin cycle the fixation phase begins as carbon dioxide is combined with RUBP. That is a reaction that's catalyzed by the enzyme Rubisco. Fun fact, that might be the most abundant protein on Earth. It creates a six carbon product, which isn't shown. So think about this. RUBP has five carbons. Each of these black dots represents a carbon atom. CO2 has one carbon. You'd think that would create a six carbon product, but immediately that six carbon product dissociates into two, three carbon molecules. So that's how we end the carbon fixation phase. Describe what happens during the energy investment and harvest phase of the Calvin cycle. We ended the carbon fixation phase with this three carbon molecule. And that three carbon product is reduced and phosphorylated. So here's a phosphorylation. In other words, ATP contributes a phosphate to this molecule. This had one phosphate group. This one has two over here. So that's a phosphorylation and reduced. So NADPH donates an electron to this molecule. So at the end, we have this molecule, G3P, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. It's also called PGAL, phosphoglyceraldehyde. Those are both interchangeable names. And the key thing is that this has a lot more energy than this. Why? Because it was given that energy from ATP and NADPH. This molecule can now be harvested, taken out of the Calvin cycle, and used to build plants. This is the origin of the biomass in almost any ecosystem. It's the origin of your biomass because that's ultimately where it came from. At learn-biology.com, we understand why students struggle with AP Bio. It's a hard course, but we have a plan for your success. Go to learn-biology.com, sign up for a free trial, and complete our interactive tutorials and interactive AP Bio exam reviews. We guarantee you a four or a five on the AP Bio exam. See you on learn-biology.com. Describe what happens during the last phase of the Calvin cycle. Before we do that, I want to talk about a way to think about the entire Calvin cycle that's really going to make you think about it in a more sophisticated way. And that way pays attention to the number of carbon atoms that are present at each stage of the cycle. So we talked about how during carbon fixation, RUBP is combined with CO2. But a more proper way and correct way to think about it is that it's three RUBPs. RUBP is a five carbon compound, so that's a total of 15 carbon atoms get combined with three carbon dioxides. 15 plus three is 18. And we've talked about how the three six carbon compounds immediately dissociate into two three carbon compounds. So what we have over here at the end of carbon fixation is six three carbon molecules. And that's a total of 18 carbons, makes sense. Five times three is 15, plus three is 18, and we've got 18 carbon atoms over here. Now, in the 
energy investment and harvest phase during energy investment, we're just going to phosphorylate and we're going to reduce. We're adding energy, but we're not adding carbon. So what we wind up with over here is six molecules of G3P, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate, six times three is 18. We had 18 over here, we have 18 over here. But what we're going to do in the harvest phase is we're going to pull one of those G3Ps out. So 18 minus three, we're left with 15 carbon atoms, five times three. Now during the next phase, these five G3Ps are rearranged by a variety of enzymes. That's why I have multiple en uh, arrows over here. And they're rearranged into three five carbon RUBPs. And along the way, a phosphorylation occurs, and that's, again, energy from the light reactions that's invested over here. And RUBP is one of the substrates of carbon fixation along with carbon dioxide. But now we've accounted for all of our carbons. We start with these 15 over here, 15 carbons, and after the whole process is done, we again have 15 carbons. And if you can explain that, you're set up for an A and a 5 on the AP Bio exam. And that is now an appropriate time for me to say congratulations because you've hung through one of the most difficult parts of this review. We're going to do cellular respiration next. You're a hero. Keep with it. You're going to get a 5 on the AP Bio exam. Want to learn more? Sign up for a free trial of the website that guarantees your AP Biology success, learn-biology.com and watch this next video.